And this is Parsha. The Torah tells us all the places that the Bnei Israel camped in the desert in the past 40 years. They tell us that one of the places that they camped was called Horahar. There our own died at the age of 123 years old. The next Pesach tells us that the Canaanite king of Arad heard, and he was living in the south, in Israel, in the coming of the Bnei Yisrael. As the Pesach says, Vayala Aaron HaKohen El Horahar Al Pi Hashem Vayamot Sham B'Shnat HaRbaim Nitzit Bnei Yisrael Me'erot Misraim B'Chodesh HaChamishi B'Echad LaChodesh V'Yaharon Ben Shalosh V'Yisrim Umat Shana B'Moto B'Horahar V'Yishmak Nani Melech Arad V'Yoshe B'Negev B'Erz Kenan B'Vo Bnei Yisrael I have a question. What did the Kenani hear? And also, what did the Pasuk mean living in the south in Israel, in the coming of the Bnei Israel? Yosheba Negebel's Kenan Bevo Bnei Israel. What does that mean? In the Gemara, Rabbi Yossi says in the name of Rabbi Yehuda that Moshe, Aaron, and Miriam all brought something special to the Bnei Israel in their 40, 40 years in the desert. They all brought something that came in their merit. Moshe brought the manna, which is the food that the Bnei Israel would eat in the desert. In Miriam's merit, there was the well of water. And in Aaron's merit, there were the Ananei Kavod which were six clouds that surrounded the Bnei Yisrael, and a seventh that prepped the path for them by destroying harmful reptiles, flattening and sweeping the ground. When each of them died, whatever was in their merit disappeared. So when Miriam died, the well disappeared. It came back in Moshe and Aaron's merit. When Aaron died, the Ananei Akavo disappeared, and then they came back in Moshe's merit. And when Moshe died, they all disappeared, and nothing came back. So the king of Arad heard that Aaron died, and the Ananei Akavo disappeared. So he thought that he would be able now to attack the Bnei Israel since there are no Ananei Kavod. But why did the Pustic say that he was sitting in the south in Israel in the coming of the Jews? What does that mean? Rashi says that Israel is south of Aram Neharim. So according to that country, if you say the south, it means Israel. So according to that, when it said south, it meant Israel. So in the south, in Israel. Because they were doing it according to Aram Neharim. Now, what did the Pustic mean when it said in the coming of the Bnei Israel? It meant that the king was, I think that it meant that the king was waiting for the Jews to come so that he could attack them because the Anei Akavod had disappeared. Sforno adds that this shows good about the Bnei Israel because they know that there's a war coming and they didn't want to return to Egypt, unlike their forefathers who wanted to go back to Egypt. I have a question. Why did the Torah tell us again that our own died? Why do you need to repeat that? I think that it's because it was an important event. Why? The clouds disappeared. Now the king of Arad wants to come and fight the Bnei Israel. Also, as Forno says, it showed Bnei Israel's improvement that they didn't want to run away when they heard that the king of Arad wants to fight. Therefore, since it was such an important event because of all of these things, the Torah mentioned it again. I also have a different answer. My other answer is that this section is a review. A review of everything that happened in the past 40 years. And this was one event that they repeated in the review. So then I have a question on that. If it's a review, then why didn't it mention Miriam's death? Why only Aaron's death? I think that the answer is because when Miriam died, the well ceased to exist. This caused the entire nation to sin. And Moshe and Aaron also sinned. Therefore, since it was a shame, since it was a shame and an embarrassment that everyone sinned, they didn't want to put it in this section. Therefore, Miriam's death was not mentioned because it only resulted in bad things. So he didn't want to put it in this section. In conclusion, we asked what the king of Arad heard. The Gemara answered that he heard that the Anei HaKavod had disappeared and he thought that he was allowed to attack Israel. We also asked why the Torah repeated Aaron's death. And I answered that it was either because it was a big event that showed the Bnei Israel's improvement because they didn't want to run away from the battle against the king of Arad or because it was recording the events that happened over the past 40 years. We asked why the Torah didn't mention Miriam's death, and I answered that Miriam's death only resulted in bad things, and the Torah may have not wanted to repeat that in this section. Shabbat Shalom.